In this short video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to draw an ellipse in your Vectric software. Over in the Design tab under Create Vectors, we're going to use this icon here to draw an ellipse. When you click on that, that will open up the Draw Ellipse form. Now, the easiest way to draw an ellipse is simply by using your mouse, where you can click and drag a shape out. So we're going to start by dragging a shape out where we want the centre point of our ellipse to be in the centre of our job. And you can see I'm hovered over the centre of my job there where X is at 5, Y is at 5. And I've got those guides to tell me that I'm in the centre of my job. So using my left mouse button, I'm going to click to hold that down. I'm still holding it down and then I'm going to move my mouse. And you can see that we're able to preview what our ellipse would look like. And if I stretch it out to the right, I'm altering the width. If I stretch it down, I'm altering the height. If I bring it up, I'm shrinking that height. And if I move it over to the left, I'm shrinking that width. If I go in a diagonal motion, I'm altering both axes at the same time. And then when you're happy with your ellipse, simply let go and it will create that shape for you. Then what you can do is you can then further edit the shape by altering the sizes. But if you are happy with what you've got there and you want to create another shape, you can simply just click in places within your job space to apply more ellipses at the exact same size that you created your original one by. So let's just undo some of those there. And then we'll just draw out a new ellipse. So we're going to draw one out like so. Now, if you wanted to adjust the size of your ellipse, uh, there are a few ways you can do this. So one is you could just look at adjusting the handles. So if we take any one of the corner handles, that's going to kind of transform the size uh, in proportion. So if we click on that, you can see that scaling that in proportion uh, to the width and the height but we're pulling on particular anchor points. So we're going here from the bottom right, going up. Here, we're going from the bottom left, going up and down. Here is from the top left, going up and down like so. Okay, and that scales everything kind of in proportion. You also have the ability to type in precise values so you can adjust the entry field here. So here, let's say we wanted the width of this to be five, press five and then press enter on your keyboard and it will adjust that for you there. And then you be able to click back onto one of the corners here to adjust uh, the sizes again if you wanted to. So for example, if I wanted this to actually be three, simply type in three, press enter, and it will adjust that there for you like so. Alternatively, if you wanted to adjust your size based on uh, the height or the width, you can simply do that by dragging on the height here, so that center point there, or the bottom here, like so. And again, you could just type in a value, say we want that to be four, press enter and it will adjust that for you there. And you can do the same for the width as well. So you could grab on one of these handles to adjust the width, and drag over to the left or the right until you're happy. And alternatively, if you wanted to be more precise, again, you could just type that in on the actual entry field here by pressing four and then pressing the enter button to enter that in. If you wanted to move your ellipse, you can do that by dragging on the center point like so. If you wanted to create a new ellipse, you can do that again by just simply dragging or clicking if you are happy with the previous ellipse's size. To edit an existing ellipse that you have in your job, simply hold shift down whilst clicking on your ellipse and that will enable you to edit the ellipse whereby you can choose the handles again like we showed you earlier or you could take a look at adjusting those fields within the form. So for example, we could say we wanted a width there of 5 and a height of 2 and then we could go ahead, press apply and it would adjust that for us there. And so to come out of the form, simply press close and if you wanted to further edit any of these shapes, you can also click on one of these ellipses and press E on the keyboard and that will open up the form that was used to create that shape. So that's pretty much how you draw an ellipse in the software. 